Good morning and welcome to a little walk and a little wander around Hardwick Hall, which is a National Trust property here in Chesterfield in Derbyshire. They're currently holding their winter tide at the moment. So I thought what a perfect time of year to come and visit this beautiful hall, the grounds and see it in all its festive glory. It is so nice to have a little bit of sunshine on my face this morning. We are first of all walking around the grounds here at Hardwick Hall. It's a three, three mile route called the Oak Route and it starts off walking through the woodlands at the side of the car park which you can see behind me and then goes all the way around the estate. We will eventually come to some ponds and I'm really looking forward to this little wander before the house opens here at 11 o'clock with it being a Sunday where I'll be able to show you the interior and see the festive theme this year. Hardwick Hall is home to a unique collection of the finest 16th and early 17th century needlework, furniture and original portraits. There are impressive views of rolling hills and grade one listed parkland and you can follow walks which wind through these ancient trees and countryside. The hall is an English interpretation of Italian Renaissance architecture. This impressive masterpiece casts a dramatic silhouette across the Derbyshire skyline. It was the formidable Bess of Hardwick who first built the house and developed the surrounding estate in the late 1500s. Her descendants, the Dukes of Devonshire, treasured Hardwick whilst lavishing much of their attention and money on nearby Chatsworth. Their success intimately associated with empire over 400 years and across the globe preserved Hardwick and their interests elsewhere saved it from significant alteration. In the 20th century, keenly aware of Hardwick's great significance and unique appeal, the Devonshires ensured that this remarkable building was passed on to the nation with its Elizabethan splendour intact. The Hardwick estate is open every day for countryside walks and picturesque views, woodland family play trails, locally sourced gifts in the shop and delicious seasonal menus in the restaurant. Hardwick's history is closely associated with the lady who built it. Born Elizabeth Hardwick, who became Countess of Shrewsbury, known to many simply as Bess of Hardwick. Born on the site of Hardwick Old Hall, Bess rose to a position of great power within Elizabethan society. In her mid-teens, Bess found herself at court in London as lady-in-waiting to a member of her extended family and caught the eye of an older courtier, William Cavendish, treasurer of the King's Chamber, and the two married in 1547. Eight children, six of whom survived into adulthood, set up their family home at Chatsworth. Her husband died in 1557, but Bess married two years later to Sir William St. Low, captain of the Queen's Guard and Grand Butler of England. He died six years later, so again Bess inherited most of his great wealth. Bess married for the final time in 1567 to George Talbot, 6th Earl of Shrewsbury, a statesman high in royal favour, and Bess became a countess. After several years of bitter quarrelling, Bess left Chatsworth and came back to her childhood home at Hardwick. When she returned, Bess commissioned a new house near to her old family home, which became known as Hardwick Old Hall, as the new one was being built. For the first time in English history, an architect was commissioned to design the building. Robert Smithson, known as the first English architect, utilised new ideas on symmetry in his designs and created plans that were in complete contrast to the adjacent old hall. The sheer quantity of glass was daring, giving rise to a local saying, Hardwick Hall, more glass than wall. 
The size of the windows boldly increases as the building rises from the ground and the turrets at the very top are emblazoned with the initials ES and a coronet leaving no one in any doubt of who built Hardwick. That was a lovely experience visiting Hardwick Hall during winter tide. I hope you've enjoyed coming along and I will see you next year. Goodbye.